have taken Astralis from top five to consistently number one. Uh, so I believe that I, I have proof enough to, to, to believe that we will bring a region higher than what they could be without the model. If it's number one, I of course hope so, but I also know that the competition is hard. And we have Fnatic, we have G2, and I don't know what you're talking on the European level. We have Misfits with all their signings and big spendings. And we have Vitality. So and you can just keep on rolling, you know. Uh, but, but I think we will be able to compete. The thing is, we need time because the tools everybody in esports talk about honeymoon period you just gather a group and then it's funny for a while and then they actually see oh this guy he's a pain in the ass or that guy he's annoying it for some other reason and everything falls apart then we just sign new players and we have the same period in a short amount of time and then we crash and we sign new players that is esport but I mean time for me is a friend it's not an enemy it's not like oh I just hope that time will help me to extend the first period and, and time is actually helping teams to get to know each other both outside in game when who's doing what when you need time to learn that those habits you know you, the coach needs time to bring in all the tactics and add little by little new tools so so it's a question of time and and cultural changes like i'm trying to do i think the guys in origin have chosen us because we're different and they want something different they believe in their daily life and the way that we see them as professional athletes and not just something somebody we pay to play a computer and you have to find out yourself they actually want that but you know the funny part everybody are, are looking in game what I told you at the beginning if you if nobody makes you open up and see performance as these many possibilities you can choose among and sometimes you have to touch one thing at other moments in the season others if you only see p this little part of performance you try to find the solution in here but the solution might be out there that is why until now nobody f found out the solution because they are only looking one place if you're not able to see the other things and at, at, you, at least you don't see them as important then you will not add it I hope that we will see esports in general move to this direction but I think it requires a cultural change which is really difficult and I know what I'm talking about because I actually brought it and I lived it and I did it uh, with my boys with our teams they did it that there are so many habits that everybody wanted to change but nobody did anything about it for example the time you train and uh, when I came in everybody was training from three four in the afternoon until late and they said but this makes no sense that is why you have burnout because you have no normal life you only see your f your computer and in the case of lol you see your teammates in case of Astralis or the counter-strike guys that often train at home you don't see anybody you're just alone because when you have the chance actually in, in the uh, in the morning to see your friends see your family they're at work or study so they said we need you to have a normal daily life like everybody else so we move from 4 to 24 we move from 10 to 6 that is impossible we would like that but it's impossible nobody does that you say yeah but I'm in charge of three teams so at least we will start three teams and you have to make it work between you and I said for sure if you in the Facebook group where they find their opponents you ask for early trainings there will be one team out there that said, mm, might be interesting and with one you might have two then you're five more and more and that is actually the same thing we want to do here make them have a normal life as well 